Partner in Academic Records, Career and Program Information. There are three pages within Academic Records, Career and Program Information, Student Term Information, and Student Credentials. Career and Program Information shows the Career Program Plan, Advisor, or Student Group Information. Student Term Information lists the student's active term summary, term activation, and the student's term history. Lastly, the student credential will show the credentials or degrees that the student has received. This video will cover career and program information. The academic records pages use terminology that is important to be clear about. Some of the keywords are academic career, program, and plan. Most students at UMass Amherst have undergraduate careers. A lesser number have graduate careers. Some careers are non-degree and some are non-credit. Program. This term depends on what career the student is in. It usually refers to the type of degree in their area of study, for example a Bachelor of Science degree, or an Associate's degree through Stockbridge, a Bachelor of Arts, or a postgraduate degree. Continuing Education, or CEUG, is referring to students pursuing undergraduate degrees taken through University Without Walls. A student may have more than one academic program. Plan. A plan is what many refer to as a major or a concentration of study, for example biology. It is a broader term than major, however, and could be a secondary major, a certificate, a pre-major program, or indicate honors. When abbreviated, it is common to see the degree and major together. For example, a Master's of Science degree in Psychology is abbreviated MSPSYCH. An Associate's of Science degree in Turf Science is ASTURF. Subplan. This delineates further specialization in the academic plan. For example, the academic plan may be a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, BFA Art, with a subplan of painting or a subplan of department honors. The academic plan may be a doctorate in education, EDD, EDUC, with a subplan of education policy and leadership or social justice education. Additionally, at the graduate level, a subplan is sometimes used to differentiate the off campus program part of their academic plan. Note, there can be various academic plans and there may or may not be subplans. Think of the academic career, program, and plan as three concentric circles. Each instance of an academic career includes an academic program. Within each academic career and program, there may be a subplan as well. Career and program information has additional information on program plans, advisors, and student groups. Right now we will explore the program plan page. In general, Inspire, if an Include History checkbox is included on the search page, you can select it during the search or later when the chosen record appears. There are four tabs on this page, Student Program, Student Plan, Student Subplan, and lastly, Student Attribute. Selecting the Student Program tab will display the student's academic program as well as additional progress in the student's academic program plan. Each of these is on an index card sorted in reverse chronology. The key information regarding the student's academic program are status, program action, and action reason. You can quickly scroll through a student's index cards while looking at these field status changes over time. Tip. Use the Student Program tab to find out whether a student has been discontinued. The following information will be avail available for inactive students. Status, discontinued, and effective date, and then the Program Action, D-I-S-C, for discontinuation. The Action Reason. Some examples include RSHL, which is health related, or RSML, military leave. The student plan tab displays the student's academic plan. The bottom half of student plan cards will show only the student's plans, for example, BS math. Notice 
Scrolling from the oldest card to the most current, we can see the initial plan was a BS in math. Once matriculated, an additional honors plan was added. Then on court card 4, we see a subplan was added. More on that soon. About a year from application, on card 3, we see the primary major change from math to, to pre-major engineering. And in card 2, this was also changed to be civil engineering. Finally, the most current card shows that the honors college plan was dropped, leaving just civil engineering as the major plan. Now look at the subplan tab. Note the subplan cards parallel the student plan cards, and one can toggle from plan to subplan and stay at the same spot in time. There's not a lot of action in the first few cards. On card 3, when the math plan was changed to engineering, we see a subplan of civil engineering. On card 2, the subplan of civil engineering is upgraded to the full academic plan, and on the most current card, there is no subplan, as the honors plan was dropped, and the engineering plan is now fully civil engineering. The last tab, student attribute, is predominantly used for reporting purposes as well as displaying a subplan code for the departmental honors. Attributes can be thought of as tags and can be used in queries. For example, a query of a student starting in the summer of 2015 with the shared attribute of transferring from a different university. Advisors and student groups pages within the career and program information provides additional information on those areas. If the student is not signed up for student groups, then you won't be able to see or do anything. And that's the case with the student. Thank you.